welcome students in our previous lecture we have seen axial force diagram shear force diagram and bending moment diagram for a simply supported portal frame this lecture we will try to restrict our conversation we will try to restrict our discussions on axial force diagram shear force diagram bending moment diagram for a cantilever portal frame we have seen already what do you mean by cantilever beam the video was already we have seen how to draw axial force shear force and bending moment diagram for cantilever beams now let's try this with a frame let us say this is the cantilever frame a b c d a portal frame which is having a load over here let us say this is a small load of 5 kilo newton it is another load over here it is a 10 kilo newton this frame is a b c d a b c and d 10 kilo newton let us say there is uniformly distributed load of 4 kilo newton per meter and another uniformly distributed load on the column a b of 3 kilo newton per meter let us say the distance AB is around 5 meters. Distance CD is 2 meters. And distance BC is another 3 meters. This is the cantilever frame which is unsupported at D and which is fixed at A. So this is a cantilever frame. So this is the frame with 5 kN load at D, 10 kN load acting towards right at C, the 4 kN per meter UDL acting on the beam BC and column AC is also loaded with 3 kN per meter. That's the loading. So cantilever, this is the cantilever frame and in this uh, discussion, we'll try to analyze this cantilever frame uh, using our basic principles for uh, by drawing axial force diagram, shear force diagram, bending moment diagram and free body diagram. So the first step in determination or in, in this particular problem is determination of reaction. My friends, remember, though the first step is determination of reaction, as far as cantilever is concerned, we can skip this step. If we start from the free end D and go towards fixed end A, we can skip this step. We will emphasize on skipping this step when we analyze the frames uh, when strain energy method or flexibility method. But since this is the first numerical, we will stick to our basics. We'll stick to our basic principle, basic steps. So determination of support reactions is our first step. So we'll stick to this particular step. But uh, while analyzing the frames by strain energy method or while analyzing the frames by flexibility method, we can always skip this particular step. So, determination of support reactions. How many support reactions are possible? There are three support reactions at A and no reaction at D. So, there are three reactions. Let us say I assume this support reaction. Let us say this my reaction is HA. This my reaction is vertical reaction at A. And this my reaction is moment at A because I know there will be three reactions at the fixed support. One reaction uh, which is perpendicular. One is along the uh, support and another is moment in the two-dimensional fixed support. So there are the three possible reactions and uh, the, uh, at the other end, that is D, since it is free end, there is no reaction. We have discussed it right in our first lecture. So again, we'll apply the equations of equilibrium. The first equation of equi equilibrium is summation of forces in X direction is equal to zero. This is our standard method. We'll apply the equilibrium equation to the structure and find out this. So at A, the force acting towards right that is in x direction is ha remember v a is acting in y direction and ma is a moment it's not a force so i will not consider it only ha now 3 into this 5 meters this 15 kilo newton force is acting towards right this 15 kilo newton force is acting towards right like this so this is also force acting towards right so it should be considered positive so plus 3 into 5 that is acting towards right. Now, this 4 into 3 is in y direction. We should not consider it because we are only considering the forces that are acting in x direction. 
Now another x direction force acting at C is 10 kilo newtons. It is also acting towards the right. So plus 10 and another force acting at D is 5 kilo newtons. It is acting towards left. That is why according to my sign conventions minus 5 is equal to 0. These are the all forces acting in x direction. Therefore H A is equal to if I take 15 plus 10, 25 on that side, it will be minus 25 plus 5. So H A is equal to minus 20 kN. This means H A must be acting towards left 20 kN because I have assumed that H A is acting towards right and the value comes out to be negative. That negative value indicates that my assumed direction was wrong. So H A must be acting towards left. I will show it at a later stage. But I have just confirmed it that H A negative. This means H A must be acting towards left. Second equation of equilibrium summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero. All the forces acting upwards are considered to be positive. So let's start from A. This V A is acting in y direction. Then this 3 into 4, 3 into 5 kN that is acting in x direction. We did not consider it in acting in y direction. This 4 into 3, it is acting in y direction, but it is acting downwards. So my first force acting in positive y direction VA. My second force, this 4 kN per meter acting for a distance of 3 meters. So 4 into 3 that is acting to downwards, so negative y. And there is no other force in y direction at C or at D. So that is equal to 0. That is my equilibrium equation. Therefore, VA vertical reaction at A is equal to 12 kN. My value comes out to be positive. This means I have assumed the direction upwards that is right. So VA is 12, 12 kN acting upwards. So that is right. So VA, I have assumed it upward and my value comes out to be positive. This means my assumed direction is right. Now, last but not the least, the third equation, summation of moments acting at any point A is equal to 0. I will consider all the clockwise moments acting are positive. Now, what are the moments acting at A? HA will not create any moment at A since there is no lever arm. There is no perpendicular distance between HA and A. VA will not create any moment at A because there is no lever arm. There is no perpendicular distance between VA and A. But this MA itself is a moment. It did not be multiplied with any distance. So MA, but since MA is acting in anti-clockwise direction and my assumption is it's clockwise positive, so minus MA. Minus MA, this moment MA is minus. Now, my second force, that is this 3 kN per meter. So total is 15 kN. 15 kN, all of you will agree, it will act at the center. So 15 kN load acting at center, that is 2.5 meter. It will create a clockwise moment. So 15 into 2.5 clockwise moment at A. So plus, plus 15 into 2.5. 15 into 2.5 clockwise moment due to this 15 into 2.5. Again, this 4 kN per meter is supposed to be concentrated at the center. The value of this force is value of the force is 4 into 3 that is 12 kN force value and what is the perpendicular distance between this and A? This is again this perpendicular distance is half of it that is 1.5 meter is the perpendicular distance. So I will just write this 4 into 3 into 1.5 or 12 into 1.5. It is acting in clockwise direction. So 12 into 1.5. This is the force. Now another force, this 10 kN, this 10 kN and A are having perpendicular distance equal to 5 meter and this 10 kN will create a clockwise moment at A. So I am going to write plus 10 into 5. That is a clockwise moment force into perpendicular distance. And last force, that is this 5 kN, which is acting towards left. And the perpendicular distance between 5 and A is total is 5 out of which it is 2. So 3, 3 meter is the perpendicular distance between this 5 kN at A. And if this 5 kN is allowed to act, it will act in an anti-clockwise direction. So minus 5 into 3. So that is all. 
that the, we have considered all the forces acting on the structure and moments due to all the forces acting on the structure so that comes out to be zero i am writing the equation equal to zero this moment is equal to zero so uh, we can we can calculate the value of ma i will calculate the value of ma like this therefore ma is equal to i will take ma on that side and i will calculate the value of ma ma is equal to so this ma value comes out to be if you calculate it is 90 90.5 kilo newton meter again this value is positive this value is positive what does it imply it implies that whatever direction i have assumed was right i have assumed the direction equal to anti clockwise and that is why ma comes out to be positive if i assume it clockwise ma would have been negative 90.5 you can try it you can try all these things uh, that assuming the reverse direction what i have assumed and you just see whether you are getting the negative values when i am getting positive and you are getting positive values when i am getting negative this means the assumed direction was wrong and ultimately we are getting the three reactions the first reaction ha 20 kN is acting towards left va 12 kN is acting upwards and this ma 90.5 kN meter acting in anti clockwise direction i will redraw the structure i will redraw the structure the structure is like this i will redraw the structure and show the reactions this is 10 kN over here another force is 5 kN over here then this is 3 kN per meter 3 kN per meter the length of ab is 5 meters length of ab is 5 meters and then it is 4 kN per meter for beam bc this length ab is 5 meter bc is 3 meters and then cd is 2 meters cd is 2 meters so this is 3 meters and cd is 2 meters let's check whether it is the same or i have committed some mistake yes it is 5 meters 3 kN per meter 4 meters 3 4 kN per meter for 3 meters and 2 meters 10 kN and 5 kN and whatever reactions i have got i will indicate the first reaction ha is towards left and the value of ha is 20 kN so i have indicated it towards left so i need not write negative i have indicated it towards left i have shown the direction of the force then va was upwards 12 kN upwards so all right va was 12 kN that is what we have received upwards positive value and ma 90.5 kN meter that is acting in an anti clockwise direction so 90.5 kN meter is ma so these are the reactions three possible reactions and this is abcd so now we can draw the free body diagram free body diagram i told you it is not necessary to calculate reactions when we analyze such type of cantilever frames in flexibility method or in strain energy method provided we take the sections from the free end and come towards the fixed end gradually i will explain the concept when we learn about the strain energy method and flexibility method in details at present since this is the first numerical since this is very basic we are learning let us take into consideration the calculation of reactions it's a simple step we have calculated the reaction now i am drawing the free body diagram of cd cd look at cd this 5 kN and this 10 kN these are the two forces now i will decide where to act this 10 kN it should be acted at c or it should be acted at it should be acted at c in the portion cd or it should be acted at c in the portion bc it should be acted on the column or it should be acted on the beam remember i can take it anywhere but i i should not take it at both the places so i will i have decided that i will consider this cd acting at c in the portion cd so while drawing the free body diagram i am drawing this cd over here cd this is 10 kN force which is acting towards right this is 5 kN force which is acting towards left this is my free body diagram fbd and i know once i draw the correct free body diagram drawing axial force diagram shear force diagram bending moment diagrams becomes very very simple so this is sorry this is the c and this is joint d so cd only these forces are acting now balance every 
member should be in static equilibrium at present this 5 kN towards left and 10 kN towards right is creating imbalance to balance it i must apply 5 kN acting towards left now look at this 5 and 5 10 acting towards left and 10 acting towards right this means this is balance there is no force acting in y direction so i need not balance it but since this is the first numerical i will balance it with 0 kN there is no need to write 0 kN but i am writing it 0 kN now what is the moment created by this 5 kN 5 into 2 is a clockwise moment that is created by this 5 kN for 10 kN meter to balance it if i allow this to happen this will rotate in a clockwise direction this beam cd will keep on rotating in clockwise direction that i don't want i want that should be stable that is statically stable so i am applying a balance moment in anti clockwise direction at c that is 5 into 2 10 kN meter so 10 kN meter is the anti clockwise moment acting at c a uh, clockwise moment acting to balance it i am applying anti clockwise moment so i have balanced it now i can be sure that this cd portion is in static equilibrium now what about bc portion this is c this is b i know the length is 3 meters and it is acted upon first i will uh, show the applied forces the applied forces on bc is 4 kN per meter that's all my friends this 10 kN load which is acting at joint c we have considered in the portion cd i need not consider in bc that will create an error so i will only consider this 4 kN per meter force that is acting on beam bc now what i need to transfer i need to transfer these balance forces in equal and opposite fashion at this c because joint c is also in equilibrium member cd is in equilibrium joint c is also in equilibrium so i will transfer this 0 kN acting downwards as 0 kN acting upwards 5 kN acting towards left i will transfer it equal and opposite 5 kN acting upwards and this 10 kN meter acting anti clockwise i will transfer it as 10 kN meter acting clockwise so this is the transfer of forces from cd to bc now joint c is balanced i need not do anything at joint c whatever i want to do i have to do it at joint b now look at this this 5 kN towards the right summation of forces in x direction should be equal to 0 if i allow this 5 kN acting towards right it will pull the beam towards right so that equilibrium condition is not maintained so bring it in equilibrium because every portion is in equilibrium in free body diagram this 5 kN should be acting towards left 0 upwards and downward force is 4 into 3 12 kN downwards out of which this support is taking only 4 kN so all the remaining load has to be taken by joint b so i will take 12 kN totally acting at joint b so 12 plus 0 12 upwards and 4 into 3 12 downwards so this is balanced now what are the moment acting at b this 10 kN meter is the moment itself it did not be multiplied with distance so 10 kN meter moment plus this 4 into 3 into 1.5 so total acting moment at b i am showing it that is 10 kN as it is it's a moment plus 4 into 3 acting at a distance of 1.5 from b so that is 4 into 3 into 1.5 that is also acting clockwise so total clockwise moment acting is 10 Plus four threes are twelve into one point five eighteen. Eighteen plus ten twenty eight kilonewton meter. This is the acting moment. If I allow this acting moment acting act on BC, the BC will be rotated in the clockwise direction. I don't want it. I want BC to be stable. So I have to apply equal and opposite moment of the same value. That is twenty eight kilonewton meter acting anti clockwise. This is acting moment. so i have to apply a reacting moment of the same magnitude but equal opposite direction that is 28 kN meter acting in opposite direction now this is balanced now bc is balanced now i am drawing free body diagram of ab i am drawing free body diagram of ab now on ab i know there is a udl of 3 kN per meter acting from a to acting at b the total distance of ab i know it is 5 meters 
total distance is 5 meters. Let us check whether any other force is there on AB. No, there is no other force. These are the reactions 12 kN, 20 kN, 30, 30, 90.5 kN per meter. So this is 10 kN is the reaction. This is 12 kN upwards and then 90 kN, 90.5 rather. 90.5 kilonewton meter these are the reactions acting at b now my friends i will transfer the forces that are balance forces on b in equal and opposite fashion on the portion b a b so this 12 kilonewton anti clockwise will be transferred as 12 kilonewton meter clockwise i am transferring equal and opposite this 5 kilonewton towards left will be transferred as 5 kilonewton towards right and this 12 kN upwards will be transferred as 12 kN downwards. So this is I have balanced joint B. Joint B. Now for joint uh, for member AB, I need to check only whether summation of forces in x direction is equal to zero, summation of forces in y direction is equal to zero, and summation of forces in uh, summation of moments is equal to zero. Look at this. Now this is 20 kN, not 10 kN. Just uh, in our original reaction, it was 20. So just I have committed a mistake by writing it was 20 kN. Look at this. The reaction was 20 kN towards left. So 20 kN. Now look at this 20 towards left and this 3 into 5, 15 towards right plus 5 towards right. So summation of forces in x direction are 0. Okay. So this step is followed. Now last member will provide us the check. Last member we don't need to balance. Summation of forces in y direction. Look at the forces in y direction. This 12 kN acting downwards and the 12 kN reaction. So summation of forces in y direction is also equal to 0. The second condition is also balanced. Now calculate the moment acting at A. The moment acting at A is this 12 kN meter as it is. 12 clockwise. 12 clockwise as it is. Plus 5 into 5 clockwise. That is also as it is. This 5 into 5. This 5 kN will create 5 into 5. This 12 kN force will not create any moment since the line of action of this force is passing through A. There is no lever arm. So this will not create any moment at A. So 12, 5 and 5. And what about this? 3 kN per meter is supposed to be concentrated at the center. We know that 3 kN per meter is supposed to be concentrated at center. The distance of this 3 kN per meter from a that total load will be 15 kN 3 into 5 and the distance is 2.5 the distance is 2.5 so the third load that will also be acting clockwise that will also be giving a clockwise moment that will be equal to this plus plus 3 into 5 15 into 2.5 so let's calculate how much is the clockwise moment at uh, uh, clockwise moment at a. Yes, so we'll calculate. Friends, we have committed a mistake over here. I have found it while calculations. This was 28 kN per meter, 28 kN meter, and we have considered only 12 kN. So we'll consider it 28 kN. Sorry for the mistake. It is 28 kN. So we have to consider this also as 28. 28 kN clockwise plus this 5 into 5 clockwise plus this 3 into 5 into 2.5 clockwise. So this comes out to be 28 plus 25 plus 37.5. That comes out to be 90.5 kN meter in a clockwise direction. To resist that, the reaction is 90.5 in anti-clockwise direction. So summation of moments are also equal to 0. This means we got a check. All our calculations are correct. So this is my free body diagram of all the members. Now my job is very simple. I will take sections. I will take section XX at a distance X because I know observer is inside the frame. This is what is observer is. He is looking the frame or she is looking the frame CD like this. She is looking the frame BC like this and he or she is looking the frame AB like this. So I am just taking section XX at a distance X. I am just taking section XX at a distance X from C and I am taking section XX at a distance X from anything. I have calculated the reaction so I can take it from A. So these are the sections and I am writing the shear force equations and bending moment equation. So shear force equation for CD. So shear force 
xx for the portion cd i am writing the shear force equation for the portion cd this for cd portion the limit is 0 to 2 the limit of the section is 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 2 limit of the section is 0 to 2 so what is the shear force i am observing from this side this is right hand side acting downwards right acting downwards is positive shear force right acting downwards look at the sign conventions which we have discussed earlier right downwards is positive shear force so 5 kN downwards and on the left what is the that is if i take the summation of it the net force will be 5 acting upwards left up left up and right down both are positive shear forces so my shear force equation is plus 5 for all the sections so i am plotting shear force diagram my shear force diagram this is cd so this is 5 and 5 it is positive so this is 5 kilonewton and this is 5 kilonewton this is my shear force diagram for the cd as per our practice will plot separate shear force diagrams which we can club together for the frames or which we may not club together because we think the columns and beams in a different fashion now write the shear force equation for portion bc for the portion bc i am writing shear force equation i know the limit of the section 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3 the length of the section is 3 meters and 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3 because there is no change of load between c and d so on the right hand side there is 0 kN upwards so 0 will not consider the only shear force is 4 into x 4 into x this 4 kN per meter acting at a distance x it is acting downwards i am talking about the force that's why i am not multiplying with distance so shear force at x x is equal to minus 4x right down right down is positive right down is positive sorry right down is positive so plus 4x if I put x equal to 0, so shear force at C will be equal to 0. If I put x equal to 3, shear force at B will be equal to 12 kN positive. I have just put the values. Shear force at C is 0 and shear force at B is 12 kN. So I am plotting the diagram for shear force at BC. If this is C, this is B, this is 0 and this is 12 kN positive. Now my friends, how to connect these two points? How to connect these two points? Look at the equation. The equation is single degree x equation. That is why these two points need to be connected using a straight line. This is positive BC 0 to 3. This distance is 2 meters. I know this distance CD distance is 2 meters, whereas BC distance is 3 meters. Now I am talking about section AB. Section AB, the limit of the section, look at the section from A to B limit can be 0 to 5 because there is no load which is interrupting between A to B. So limit of the section 0 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 5 meters. That is the limit of the section. I am writing the shear force equation. Shear force at xx is equal to. Look at this. Look at this. I am looking the frame from inside. That is like this. So shear force left upwards is left upwards right downwards is positive shear force so this 20 kN has to be considered as positive shear force so plus 20 left upwards is positive that is 20 kN then another force is left downwards this 3 kN per meter at a distance x it is acting it is left rightwards so that is negative left downwards that is negative so minus 3 into x that is the shear force equation for portion ab at x is equal to 0, x at x is equal to 0, shear force at A, when x is equal to 0, the section is at A. See, look at this section. When x is equal to 0, the section is at A. When x is equal to 5 meters, the section is at B. So at x is equal to 0, the shear force at A is plus 20 kilonewton. And at x is equal to, at x is equal to 5 meters, shear force at b that is equal to 20 minus 3 into 5 15 so plus 5 kilo newton and how to connect these two points i am drawing a b i am drawing the portion a b this is a this is b shear force at a is 20 kilo newton positive and shear force at b is 5 kilo newton positive how to connect these two points the shear force equation will govern the nature of curve or nature of line 
So this is to be connected like this because it's a single degree equation. It is shear force diagram is like this. So I can club these three points together and draw the final shear force diagram. That is 25, 12, 0 and 5, 5. This is the shear force diagram. I will club it together and will draw the shear force diagram again. It is AB. This is 20. This is 5. So it is to be connected like this. This is 20 kilonewton. This is 5 kilonewton. It's a positive shear force. So it is like this. Then it is 12 and 0. 12 kilonewton, 0 kilonewton, BC. This is BA. This is BC. That is 12 kilonewton and 0 kilonewton. Okay. And third one is CD. That is 5 kilonewton and 5 kilonewton. That is 5 kilonewton and 5 kilonewton CD that is positive. So this is C, this is D. This is my shear force diagram for the frame ABCD. So this is my shear force diagram. Very simple. Once I have drawn the free body diagram, it becomes very, very simple. Now using the same free body diagram with the same sections, I am writing the bending moment equation. And I am plotting the bending moment diagrams. So my bending moment diagram, I will select some different color. Let us say I will select red color. So uh, for the section CD, for the section CD, I know the limit of the section 0 less than or equal to X less than or equal to 2. You don't need to change it for bending moment diagram. Same limit can be there. So I am looking the frame from inside. The bending moment due to this 5 kilonewton is 5 into X. It is on the right hand side of the section. Right hand side acting clockwise is negative. That is hogging moment. So I am writing bending moment equation, bending moment at xx in the portion CD, bending moment at any section xx in the portion CD is minus 5 into x because right hand side acting anti-clockwise. See, it is right hand side, 5 into x will be the moment at the section xx. This is section xx. So 5 into x is the moment. So right hand side anti-clockwise is negative bending moment, hogging bending moment. And then I'm putting the value at x equal to 0 that is bending moment at D is equal to 0. If I put x equal to 0 in the equation, it will be 0. At x equal to 2 meters, bending moment at C will be equal to minus 10 kilo newton meter. So I'm just drawing a rough diagram. This is C, this is D. Sorry, this is D and this is C. So this is 0 at D and this is minus 10 at C. And it needs to be connected by a straight line. This is 10 kilonewton meter negative. It needs to be connected with a straight line because the equation is single degree equation. So this is my bending moment diagram for CD. I will club. I will just club the all all diagrams in at the end to draw the final bending moment diagram. So once the free body diagram is drawn, everything is well explained. Now look at concentrate on the free body diagram of BC. I am writing the bending moment equation over here. I know the limit of the section is 0 to 3. So bending moment at the section xx. I am writing the bending moment at the section xx. Now this 10 kN meter is the moment itself. I need to consider it. It is minus 10 because right hand side acting clockwise is hugging bending moment minus 10. This 5 kN will not create any bending moment at xx because there is no perpendicular distance. The line of action of 5 and the section is the same. So it will not create any moment. This 0 kN will not create any moment because the load is 0. There is no need for considering this 0 kN meter. But this 4 kN meter acting for a distance x, this means it is concentrated at a center. So 4x is the load and the perpendicular distance between 4x load and this section is x by 2. So and that is also acting clockwise to the right. So 4x into x by 2. That is minus, that is my bending moment equation for the section xx. I know when x is equal to 0, that is the section is at C. I will, I'm writing the bending moment. So bending moment at C, section is at C. When x is equal to 0, it is minus 10 kilonewton meter. And when x is equal to maximum, that is 3, the section will vary from 0 to 3. So x is equal to 3, bending moment at B. I am just putting x is equal to 3. So minus 10 minus 2 into x square that is 9. 3 square is 9. So minus 10 minus 18. Total moment is minus 28 kilo newton meter. So total moment is minus 28 kilo newton meter. So the bending moment diagram for this BC 
it is 0 and minus 28 so, uh, sorry i should have drawn it uh, in a negative fashion okay i am drawing it on downwards that is 28 kilo newton meter minus and i know the equation is equation of a parabola this equation is equation of a parabola because it is varying with second degree of x minus 10 minus 2x square that is the equation so 2x square this is square equation square equation is equation of a parabola so i am writing it as equation of parabola and i am connecting it with a curve like this i am connecting it with a curve like this this is uh, introvert parabola minus 28 0 and minus 28 my friends uh, i have already told you how to identify whether the parabola is introvert parabola or whether the parabola is extrovert parabola or rather whether the parabola is concave parabola or the parabola is convex parabola i hope you will apply the test and get it uh, with me that the parabola has to be this shape only it cannot be the parabola having extrovert parabola that is convex parabola it cannot be the convex parabola in this case you have to judge whether it is introvert or extrovert the tests are already told to you in the previous numerical i hope you will apply the tests over here and will agree with me that this is the introvert parabola now last that is a b again i am drawing a b so look at this i am writing the bending moment equation for a b so i am taking this section from right hand side so m x x bending moment at x x is equal to now look at this this 20 into x will create a clockwise to the left so that is positive 20 into x positive this 90.5 is the moment which is anti-clockwise to the left so that is negative left hand side of the section acting anti-clockwise that is hogging minus 19.5 it's a moment itself you do not multiply with distance and then this is 3 kilo newtons per meter acting at a distance x by 2 that is center so 3 into x into x by 2 it is again acting in an anti-clockwise direction so minus 3 into x is the load and x by 2 is the distance i will modify it that is 20x minus 90.5 minus 1.5 x square now i know the limit of the section is 0 and 5 if i put limit equal to 0 that is section is at a when i put x is equal to 0 section is at a when i put x is equal to 5 the section will be at b so i am getting this answer when i put section x is equal to 0 bending moment at a is minus 90.5 and when i put x is equal to 5 that is bending moment at b if i put x is equal to 5 that is 100 minus 90.5 minus 1.5 into 5 square you will get that value is minus 28 kilo newton meter these values i got minus 28 kilo newton meter so i have to plot this diagram between a and b a and b i will again plot the diagram between a and b so this is minus 90 that is 90.5 kilo newton meter and this is 28 kilo newton meter it is also negative 28 kilo newton meter and again the equation is a second degree equation that is the equation of a parabola look at this equation equation is 20x minus 90.5 minus 1.5 x square so this is the equation of a parabola so this parabola again it's an introvert parabola like this it's an introvert parabola like this why it is introvert just go through that uh, method and get me the answer or discuss me in the comment box why it is introvert or extrovert i'll be very happy to explain it in one more video a short video of five minutes how to draw introvert parabola and how to draw extrovert parabola by quoting this example now i will club all this to together a b 90.5 that is 28 again an introvert parabola not an extrovert parabola this is 28 kilo newton meter at b this is 28 kilo newton meter at b in bc also this is 0 kilo newton meter minus this is 90.5 kilo newton meter 0 kilo newton meter so a b b c and then cd i am just looking at cd that is 28 kilo newton meter 0 that is 10 kilo newton meter and 0 that is the bending moment diagram between 10 kilo newton meter and 0 so this is 10 kilo newton meter and 0 so that is to be connected with a straight line 10 kilo newton meter and 0 so this is my final bending moment diagram this is the positive bending moment in this portion 
and other portions we have got a negative bending moment so this is my bending moment diagram so i hope you have understood this particular concept you have understood how to draw the uh, free body diagram how to plan shear force diagram how to plan bending moment diagram for a cantilever frame a b c d so i hope the concepts are clear i'll be very happy if you can comment on the contents and if uh, any doubts are there you can always interact with me on our whatsapp group or uh, by comments on this particular video thank you for joining thank you